I gladly welcome you all to our computer class. In this class, you will be able to learn about web design and development, which focuses on HTML5 and CSS. Before we'll go to our main lesson, allow me to introduce myself very briefly. My name is Mr. Eldon Ray Ombiga, and I will be your computer teacher. You can call me Mr. Eldon. I am here because I love to discover new trends in technology. I also love to watch sports and enjoy them a lot. I used to play saxophone when I was at your age. One of my favorite sayings goes this way, everything in life can teach you a lesson. You just have to be willing to learn. This is my 15th year at RIS in the computer department. Again, I would like to warmly welcome everyone to our computer class. In this slide, we'll talk about the school mission statement and the ESLRs. The school mission statement reads, Ramkamhang Advent International School is committed to giving each student quality well-rounded Christian education, emphasizing academic excellence and character development. The expected school-wide learning results, right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. To get started this school year 2020 and 2021, here are a list of guidelines for computer class. Number one, seating arrangement. By the time you entered computer lab, a list of the seat arrangement is projected in the screen and it is according to your ID number. The vacant seats will be reserved for those who are taking online class for the first few weeks. Number two, attendance and student information form. I will distribute this form for you to fill up, which will also serve as your attendance for today. To those who are taking online class for now, you may fill up this form once you get back to school and attend computer class. Number three, the school Gmail. This is used for Google Classroom activities. If you are new to Google Classroom, a separate video will be available for you. This video can also be helpful in case you wanted to review on how to use Google Classroom. In case you don't have the school Gmail yet, please get your school Gmail with me after our computer class session. Number four, the essential iMac lab skills. This is posted in our classroom bulletin, which will serve as guidelines for computer class, and we'll review them in the next slide. The essential iMac lab skills are the daily manners inside the computer lab. Number one, speak English. As you are encouraged to speak English while in the school premises, it is also expected to do the same inside the computer lab. Number two, no food or drinks inside the lab. Number three, when creating documents or in a similar manner, you need to save your work often in case there is a power interruption. We could still recover our documents. Number four, don't change computer settings. Number five, don't forget to log out, which is part of our end of class procedure. Number six, Use the computer for class or school activities only. Number seven, mobile phone is prohibited. Submit this to your homeroom teacher at the start of the day and return. This will be returned after school. Number eight, keep your area neat and clean. Number nine, remain seated and work quietly. Number 10, treat the computer with care. 11, Secure your username and password. 
Number 12, keep your files organized and serve safely. We will cover this part in our Nitiquit discussion. A short notice below, computer usage is a privilege, not a right. Respect, protect, and enjoy using it. Okay, the fifth guideline. This is the start of class procedure. So you are expected to arrive on time and prepared as well. Number six, the class schedule. And this will be given through your homeroom teacher. Number seven, letter to your parents. You need to hand out this to your guardian or to your parents when you get back home. Number eight, the agreement form. This will serve as a pledge in using the computers. Number nine, internet usage. Our computers are connected through the cables. Number 10, the grading system, which will be accessed through www.trendweb.com. A separate video will be provided online on how to create your account in RenWeb if you're new to this web page or website. Number 11, desktop folder and Google Drive. You can access your files here, which includes ebook, the course outline, and lesson files as well. Number 12, Use only designated computer. So you can save files or classwork to your assigned computer and not another computer. 13. Cooperation inside the computer lab. This is important to have a conducive learning environment. Number 14. End of class procedure. You need to log out and Arrange your area when leaving the computer lab. 15. Keep desks and chairs in an orderly manner and make sure to keep the iMac lab clean. Number 16. Keep the door closed in and out the computer lab. 17. Tips for computer class which will be shown in the next slide. So these are a few tips. First, take time to read your ebook. Second, take time to explore. Take notes on important points and ideas. Don't hesitate to communicate and cooperation during computer class. Moving on, number 17 in our guideline. No, that should be 18. Line account. So I'm going to create a line account and please join in the line group for us to be able to communicate with our computer class activities or any important matters regarding computer class. 19, the emergency exit plan. You can see that in our bulletin board. So please follow the plan as posted in our bulletin. And 20, this is regarding the new normal daily hygiene routine, which includes washing of hands before entering the computer lab. This also includes the school policies regarding the new normal routine, such as social distancing and etc. 21. Q&A or the feedback. In case you have question, you may feel free to see me after our class. So these are the complete list in getting started for the school year. 
So we have reviewed all of this. I will not go through this, all of them from in our list here, but you can just review on what you have what we have discussed in this computer class. If I missed some important points in this video, you may raise your concerns whenever the need arises during our computer class. Thank you for watching this video.